Oh, this is another thing that really killed me. Real estate professionals talking about, I'm not a numbers person. Then what are you doing if you're not a numbers person? What contract have you ever seen in real estate that don't have a number on it? <laughs> From the time you sign up with your broker, the first thing you see is how much of your money will you get to keep, right? Every listing agreement, every sales contract, every lease has a number in it. Everyone who's a vendor here today is going to talk about numbers. We're going to talk about the probability of someone buying or selling real estate. Now, I thought probability was the dumbest thing in the world. I had to take statistics in undergrad and in grad school. And when you're in your 20s, you don't care about the probability of something occurring between zero and one. But when you get into real estate, you do. Because I want to know when I take you out on the first time, what's the likelihood that I'm going to get a check because I've already spent the money? That sound about right. And so we have to be a numbers person. You need the numbers person so you can develop the exit strategy so you don't die the lonely, cold, painful life in Chicago from seasonal associative disorder.